What's going on everyone? It's Rylan with Rylan's Amazing Photography here and I'm out um, today in the blind. I got my Nikon D500 and my um, Nikkor 200-500mm f5.6 and today we're going to be doing some bird and wildlife photography um, hopefully but I can't guarantee that because I don't know if there's going to be animals or not. Um, it's an absolute beautiful day out um, and it's in the middle of the day. It's actually the hottest time of the day. It's around 1 or 2 o'clock. Um, you're no okay there's a couple of things. First thing you've probably noticed I'm not wearing camo, but it doesn't make sense to wear camo because this wall isn't camo. So I've got on a shirt that blends in with the wall because I'm smart like that. Um, second thing, um, you noticed I said it's in the middle of the day. Typically I do not recommend shooting in the middle of the day, but um, there's a reason I'm doing that today and that's because um, when you're shooting facing the woods, um, it's exposing, the camera's exposing from my face so you can't see it. But the woods, um, even though this is in the middle of the day, it's still pretty shaded um, because of all the leaves and all the trees. So actually, um, if you're shooting into um, something like the woods or in a really shady place, it's actually good to do that in the middle of the day um, because it's, there's no harsh light in it anyways. Now granted, if something comes down from the mountain up in this direction, um, it's probably not going to be great for photography because it's um, really it's going to be really bright and really harsh light. But um, I'm hoping um, animals and birds are more down in this area where it is pretty shady. So um, enough talking and uh, let's get into some photography. It's been about 45 minutes and I've saw absolutely nothing. Um, I think the big Part of the problem for that is the fact that it's like um, 90 degrees outside with a heat index of like 94. Um, but still, this is usually a pretty popular time of day for birds. So I am a little disappointed, honestly, that um, I've not saw any. I've, I've heard some chirping, but I've just not saw any. Um, not saw any squirrel or any other animals either. So I am a little disappointed right now because um, I'm about to have a heat stroke myself but hopefully my luck is going to change and I'm gonna see something at least just something there's some turkey coming down this hill I've been getting some really good shots um, they're kind of far up there right now they're moving their way down um, slowly but surely I got some video footage but right now I'm trying to focus on some photos, um, but that's kind of difficult because they're not in a good position. Um, I'm going to turn off the camera and um, put my full attention on these animals and get some good photos. The shots of the turkeys um, ended up being really good as you all saw on your screens. I was really happy with how those turned out. The lighting was just absolutely beautiful um, on the majority of those shots. There was three of them. Um, I'm just all around very happy with how that turned out. Um, there's a cardinal chirping and I got a, um, I, I saw it a second ago but it wasn't out um, for me to get a shot. Um, it, it was in a bad position um, where it was kind of hidden behind a tree and I couldn't see it very good and then it um, 
got on the ground and got behind another tree where I couldn't see it. So it wasn't out long enough for me to get a photo. Um, I think it's flown away at this point, so I can just, um, all I can do is really just hope it comes back. Um, of course there's no guarantee for that. Um, what I'm kind of thinking is if things don't start, um, turning around and they don't start end up making more birds and more animals out, I might, um, go back home, cool off, get some water, relax for a couple of hours, and then my, I might come back this evening. Now the problem with that is if I do that down in the forest, it's going to be a lot darker than what it is right now. Um, at this point, it's just kind of a wait and see thing. I'll give it maybe another 30 minutes to 45 minutes to see if things change. And if not, I'm not really going to have a choice but to um, go back and then come back this evening when it's cooler and hope for better results. So um, I'll keep you all posted on what I decide to do with that. So it's been about 40 minutes and I'm still not seeing anything. I'm absolutely about to have a heat stroke. So um, I am gonna go um, home and cool down and all that fun stuff. And then later tonight, um, closer to golden hour, I'm gonna come back and hopefully I'll have better luck then. Not going to be great light back in the woods, but hopefully um, I'll see some birds and some wildlife, which would be better than what I've saw today. So we'll just kind of wait and see. And if that don't work, maybe I'll get up early in the morning and come back here. But hopefully it works out tonight. Um, yeah, let's skip to me back here again. Boom. And I'm back like I never left. Um, it is 7 o'clock now, so um, quite a few hours have passed since I was last back here. Um, it is quite a bit cooler, probably about 10 degrees cooler than what it was when I was back here earlier, but it is still pretty stuffy and pretty humid. But nonetheless, it's not as bad as what it was in the middle of the day. Um, unfortunately, you can see back here, I've lost a lot of light. Um, when I got back here, I actually scared off a squirrel. Um, so that's a little disappointing, but it'll probably be back in not too much longer because they usually don't stay gone for long even when you do spook them. So I'm hoping that I'll get to take photos of him at least if nothing else. Um, it would be great to see a deer or a coyote or even a tur another turkey, um, a bobcat, um, a fox. There's a lot of different things I could see. A lot of those um, only come out at night, even deer. But um, it is golden hour. It, well, at least it's be, it's the beginning of golden hour, and I'm starting to get some pretty good light. So hopefully, we're gonna have some luck. Yeah, um, I'm gonna watch for animals now. Just a minute ago, I actually heard the squirrel. Um, now I hear some sort of bird. Um, but the squirrel is still nearby, so I'm actually kind of hopeful that I'll see. Um, the squirrel and get some shots of him. I did get really cool shots the other day um, of a squirrel actually eating a mushroom, which I didn't even know squirrels ate mushrooms. If you want to check that out, you can um, go to my Instagram um, page and give me a follow on there. Um, I had an Instagram reel on it um, that you can check out. It, it was it was really cool. I'll be honest. I mean, I never saw a, a squirrel eat that. That mushroom was half the size of the squirrel, and he just devour the entire thing. I just heard a wasp fly in. So I'm going to deal with that and um, yeah I'm still hopeful that there's going to be something here that I can take a picture of. Um, but on hot days like this I do understand that animals aren't very active but nonetheless it would be great to see something so yeah you can see the wasp right above my head. Um, He did. Can't even lie to y'all. No luck. No luck. Let me see what time it is. It is 7.34. So I've been back here roughly 30 minutes. Um, I've not seen a single animal. And I was really hoping I would since it's later in the evening and it's golden hour. Um, but I just don't have any control over that. You can see I'm still just absolutely pouring sweat. It's still really hot out here. It's nothing compared to earlier um, today, but it's still really just miserable out. Um, 
but at some point animals have got to come out to get food so maybe even later like once I've lost good light I might see something um, the plan right now is to stay even a little bit after um, the Sun is gone um, I really don't know if I'll do that or not but um, that's what I'm going for um, I spent hours today fixing my hair so I hope you all can just find um, appreciation somewhere just for the hair worked really hard on it so um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm just playing the waiting game at this point. I wanted to fill you all in. Um, hopefully soon I'll see something else. Maybe. Probably not. But you never know. We'll see. So, um... Yeah, I had no luck today besides the turkeys, um, which is okay because I'm really happy with those shots, but for all the time that I've spent back here today, to just come away with a few turkey shots is a little discouraging and a little disappointing, but I don't have any control over that, and I do understand um, that it's probably because of the heat more than anything. It is just absolutely burning up outside, and I, I mean, it's, it's for real really hot. That's not me being dramatic for the video or anything. It's It's been so hot the past two days. And so I, I get that wildlife isn't moving around. I don't have control over that. As you can see, the sun is back behind me setting. Um, in fact, I think it's pretty much just went down over the mountain. Really pretty scene out here. It's beautiful out, but there isn't any wildlife. And um, as long as I've sat back here today, I am going to go ahead and call it a day. Because for the most part, light is pretty much gone. Um, if you do want to help support me, you can do that easily by just going down below, liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the notification bell. Of course, there's other free ways to support me as well, such as following me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you want to support me in other ways too, I also have a book that you can find on my website, as well as prints that you can find on my, on my website. Um, for all of that information, you can go to the description. Um, down below or the pinned comment that has um, all of my links in it so I want to thank each and every one of you all so much for taking the time to watch today um, if there was a lesson that I learned I have to say I think it's um, nature is really nice to just be in even if you don't get a photo um, and I already knew that but even when it's burning up and it's just absolutely miserable out it's still just nice to be out in the forest and the woods in the wilderness so, um, once again, thank you all so much for watching today's video, and I hope you all have an amazing day.